The Kia Cerato sits at a unique position in the Malaysian market. It's priced under 100,000 ringgit, which puts it right between the B segment and the C segment cars. We are going to find out if this Kia is worth the stretch from a Vios or a City, without having to jump all the way to a Civic or a Corolla Altis. Let's find out in this episode of Root Hunters. The Serato is a distinctive looking sedan when compared to the Japanese counterparts. It's got one flowing profile from nose to tail. The front rectangleish grille gives it a more serious look than its predecessor. The DRLs are sleeker too, almost Audi-like. We love that Optima GT aping side vents on the front bumper too. In the back, the Serato's LED tail lamps look absolutely gorgeous, especially when you're tailing from the back. The Serato sits on a smart looking 17 inch rims with polished spokes. Not only does it provide plenty of grip, it also gives the car a nice stance. What are your thoughts on the Serato's looks? Tell us in the comments below. There's plenty of space in the Serato, especially in terms of legroom. Dimension wise, it's not the longest or widest car in the segment, but it does share the wheelbase with the Altis and Civic. It's also taller than the other two, giving it a roomy feel on the inside. The dash has a curvy theme which is interesting to look at, but it's starting to show its age. Nevertheless, its trim materials are better than the Honda City, which is only a couple of thousand ringgit away. The Audi resemblance continues with the gear knob, control buttons, and the aluminium sports pedals. There's even a touchscreen head unit with Bluetooth. The steering is leather wrapped with pedal shifters in the back. The Serato is powered by a 1.6 litre engine, but it provides plenty of poke thanks to the well spaced gear ratios. The 6 speed auto gearbox makes the most out of the 157 newton meters of torque available. It's not going to launch you a hit when you stomp the throttle on the highway, but it will smoothly accelerate to speeds well beyond the national limit. This engine and gearbox combo works well on B roads too. We clocked a consumption figure of 7.5 litres per 100 kilometres on a weekday rush hour traffic from Shah Alam to Petaling Jaya. That gives it a theoretical range of 320 kilometres for 50 ringgit worth of round 95. The Serato's chassis is really well sorted. It's rigid. The wheelbase is long enough to provide ample stability even at high speeds. The damping lags behind the Picanto and the Optima in terms of the way it's set up. It does provide a comfortable ride though. This car comes standard with 6 airbags, ABS, EBD, traction control and ESC. The car has received a 5 star ANCAP certification. The Honda City on the other hand has only an Asian ANCAP 5 star rating. The Serato will be a safe long distance commuter. This is thanks to its rigid body, its 215 section tyres, supple suspension and good safety scores. The Kia Cerato is priced at 90,832 ringgit and 45 cents, which is 5,000 ringgit cheaper than the Honda Civic and 6,000 ringgit more expensive than the Honda City. It's being offered with a 2 year discounted service package. Selected parts and services are discounted for the first 40,000 kilometers. Otherwise, an average service should cost you about 343 ringgit with major service prices going up to 1,000 ringgit plus. On average, the Kia Cerato's wear and tear parts are much cheaper than the Honda Civic parts. With the exception of one or two items, most of the parts like the dampers and lower arms. The Serato has the biggest rims and tyre combination here, yet the tyre prices are not so different to the Civics. Overall, the cost of running the Serato over 2 years of 40,000 kilometers will set you back 6,949 ringgit and 65 cents or 289 ringgit and 57 cents per month. In comparison, you would end up spending 8,249 ringgit and 2 cents for the Honda Civic 1.8 which works out to be 343 ringgit and 70 cents per month. The Serato is a capable C segment car with almost B segment pricing. The materials, ride comfort and refinement works in its favor. It may only be a 1.6 litre car, but you can utilize the power available with ease thanks to the 6 speed gearbox. It's just as good as the Civic or even better in some respects. Yet, it's a lot cheaper to run when compared to other C-segment cars. If you're on the market for a B-segment car and would like to stretch for a C-segment car, or if you're looking for a good value for money option in the C-segment itself, 
this Cerato is worth the look. What are your thoughts on the Kia Cerato? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.